this is quite possibly the biggest announcement on this channel well definitely of this year so i'm absolutely nervous i'm buzzing but you can see from the title you know what's about to come up so Yo, what up, eh? How you doing, guys? My name is Serge, and today we are back with another video. And man, this this one's a big one, man. This one's this one's absolutely huge. I think this is potentially the biggest one of this year. As you can see from the title, we're going to be answering one of the most asked questions that I get, and that is with regards to all of my jewelry. Some people hate it, some people love it. People want to know where it's from. So we've got that, and then number two, most importantly, I guess, and the reason why this ties in beautifully is because, as you can see from the title, I finally have my own piece for you guys to purchase and um, I'm super excited to talk about it and hopefully some of you might f with it, might go cop it and all that other jazz. So let's just jump straight into it. Yes, this video is sponsored technically by me. Oh my God, your boy made it. Boy sponsoring videos and shit. Okay, my chain. Now, a lot of you guys have noticed it in the past. I've been wearing it for the past month. I haven't spoken much about it and it is this bad boy right here, mate. <laughs> I'm buzzing man, I finally get to talk about it. I'm absolutely buzzing. So, a designer for slash jewelry maker got in touch with me roughly six months ago regarding a project where he wanted to get me involved. And this is a result of that collaboration. I'm super glad I got the opportunity to work with him. This guy is insanely talented. Makes everything by hand in his studio in Gerrard's Cross, which is just outside of London. To shed more information with regards to this banger right here, obviously, sterling silver. I wouldn't put anything else around my neck and I certainly wouldn't expect you guys to wear anything else if it's coming from me now for the design some of you may know that my favorite animal is a tiger i draw a lot of inspiration from it my chest piece is a tiger and so i definitely wanted to get that involved within my first ever design for slash piece that i put up and i think it was my uncle and my dad who had chains like this back in their 20s and it was just a single tiger tooth right and so i kind of always liked the idea of a double tiger tooth and so we came out with this crescent shape which a lot of you guys have mistaken for moon but that's the beauty of it it's open to interpretation it could be a c it could be a moon for me and the original idea was a double tiger tooth basically super sharp on the edge just quite thick quite weighty as well played around with loads of shape and loads of thickness and something that i find fascinating especially in jewelry is mixed not necessarily mixed material but mixed texture and that's kind of what we try to implement within this design now as you can see in the body or the main part of the jewelry it's quite beaten up it's been hammered everything has been handmade in london by the way for the pendant. So it's been hammered in the middle and then we have a straight line that cuts across both of the ends and then you've got a sharp polished finish. Truth be told, I just like the way that looks. I like the idea of obviously having teeth bite into something and that's kind of a representative of that. But obviously if you were to go deep about it and very metaphorical, then it could be something along the lines of play on the saying rough around the edges, you know, when someone's considered to be rough around the edges, when I feel like, especially these days, most people are fairly sharp around the edges, like what we put out to the world and who we present ourselves to be is relatively clean, especially with the use of social media where everything is very curated. Whereas on the inside, for slash in the middle, we're fairly rough and we're fairly beaten and are bruised and mad. <laughs> <laughs> that is very deep. Do you know what I mean? So it's entirely up to you, whatever your interpretation may be. And then it comes with this beautiful box belcher chain from Italy. So the chain is from Italy and the pendant is from London. Well, Gerard's Cross to be precise, but London, UK. The chain is 20 inches. It sits on top of everything else. And most chains are like 24, if not a bit longer. To me, this is like the perfect length, man. I'm just, I'm just absolutely buzzing so with regards to the release it will be held on friday the 14th of december which means if this video goes live as planned that will be tomorrow the release will be at 8 p.m uk time so 8 p.m london time link to the release link to the release yeah will be found in the description box down below check it out i hope you guys like it there was only a hundred made now these are handmade hence why we didn't go too crazy with the production and i wanted to make something that you wouldn't just buy because it was from me but rather because it's a sick product and you want it and then the fact that it's from me is just a little bonus that's that Whew. massive weight off my chest i'm absolutely buzzing for this man and um yeah Treat yourself for Christmas, boys. And also something else before I close off on this chain, one of the things that I love about it is, say on those days where you don't want to be wearing the pendant, you can just take it off, and it's still a very nice chain that kind of just looks lovely against your skin, against your t-shirt, whatever it may be. It's quite thick, so you can pull it off, but that's that. Man, 
so happy. You don't understand, so happy. Next up, we're moving to another chain, and this is the dagger pendant with a thick knife edge chain. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. This is from The Great Frog, one of my favorite jewelry stores based out in London, but they have a store in LA, in New York, and something, somewhere else, I want to say. Incredible craftsmanship, great people, and great design. So this is the engraved, because it's got an engraving on the, the sword, the blade part. And then last but certainly not the least, the third chain is actually from SLP Saint Laurent. It is the dragon chain. I can't remember what season it's from. I want to say fall, winter 15, or potentially spring summer 15 back when they had loads of like dragon inspired pieces be it rings be it bangles and this is the chain and I've also added a ring to it which a dear friend of mine gave me and it gives it a nice little emotional touch to the piece so that is that for my chains there's only three at the moment I am open to rocking a lot more I'm open to rocking a lot less as well sometimes I'll just wear one chain sometimes it'll be two sometimes it'll be three I'm gonna just keep stacking them up and then see where it takes me now we're gonna move things upwards with my earrings these are both from a brand called Maria Black. Now, unfortunately, I don't know the name of either of them. I don't know the price. I don't know anything about them, really, besides the fact that they're from Maria Black. And I'll be, again, sure to leave the link in the description box down below. The one on my right is a split circle. It looks awesome. You can play around with it. You can kind of create different shapes. You can make it look like the earring goes through the ear itself, if you just kind of have it higher, or you can leave it low and dangly. From afar, it might look like a thick hoop. But as you can see, you can move the pieces sideways and kind of make it look like it's a broken hoop basically and then this guy on my left ear is this dangly earring now i've always been a fan of dangly earrings be it hoop whether it's a pearl whether it's whatever chrome hearts are some really nice dangly i think it's like a knife earring or cross earring or whatever it is feathers you name it i've worn it at some point in the past and this seems to uh this is my most recent obsession i mean i've been wearing this earring for a good year now if not more I absolutely love it i think it's awesome and uh, maria black does some really amazing like sweet minimalistic designs next up we've got bracelets a question that i get asked a lot within this accessory section is what watch i'm wearing and this is actually i don't know the name it's it's from burberry it's got a black face black leather strap and yes a lot of you have noticed the fact that what is that bit called the little holder basically fell off i need to get a new strap this watch is four years old basically my mum bought it for me on my 21st birthday and uh yeah, emotional. Obviously, anything that your mum gets you is very emotional. It's so clean, man. I love it. It doesn't it doesn't scream at anyone. Beautiful. And I kind of pair it up with this little beaded bracelet from Klobo. I love the colours. It's black, it's silver. It falls perfectly with the watch. And now on my right hand, or right arm, I should say, this is where I put my bracelets. Now, I do change them about, but these are, for the most part, for the most part of last year, fairly consistent with it always being present. So once again, you've got this silver beaded bracelet from Klobo. These two both came as a set. Then we've got the link, or the chain link, which a lot of you guys refer to it as. It is from Hermes. It is the Chen Donc. Basically a really good friend of mine gave it to me. She, she's crazy, man. She had this sat in her room in the box for God knows how long, how many years, she never wore it. And she said, yeah, it's nice, but I just don't wear it. It's not my thing. And she was like, she obviously knew that I was into my jewelry and I was into my silver. And she said, here, take it. Yeah, <laughs> that's my sister, man. That's my sister right there. So Hermes Chendonc, I think these, these retail were disgusting prices. I want to say 900 euros or 900 pounds or something along those lines. It's a bit butters. It's still crazy that that uh, she gave that to me but thank you Sarah then next up we've got this chainmail like bracelet this one is from Christian Dior what era is this I want to say 2005 if I remember properly that's what the um, the seller told me super nice piece super simple the CD is sort of engraved in this metal plate that sits on top of the bracelet. The metal plate has this rust color, which kind of goes nicely with my skin tone, actually. And then you've got the silver chain mail thing. It's just a really nice piece. I love it. Cool detailing around it. Next up, we've got another bracelet. This is actually quite recent. It is a from Gucci. That is Gucci for non-new fashion people. Truth be told, I got it for super cheap. A friend of mine works at Gucci, and I think it's, what, 600 or 700 pounds retail, and it was pretty much 90% off, so I paid next to nothing in comparison to the value. Hence why I copped it. Really nice detailing with hands, kind of holding onto a chain, a heart. You know, it's very Gucci. Then you have the double G, but I tend to keep the double G underneath my arm so that it can't be seen. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but you know, don't want to 
scream and be like, yo, my Gucci, check me out. And then last but certainly not the least when it comes to bracelet, I got this bad boy from Workstart Munchen for my 24th birthday from K. Again, super appreciative of the gesture. Beautiful bracelet. It's super clean, super minimalistic, super simple. It's very small. It's got some, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm definitely not gonna be able to pronounce it. Hieroglyphic, hier hieroglyphic, or you know that Egyptian designs from back in the day? It's got some something along those lines to it. So yeah, this is, yeah, I, I don't know where I was going with that point. This is my, my silver arm. And then last, but certainly not the least, We've come to rings. Now let's start with my left hand. Currently I only have two rings. One is from Chrome Hearts. This is the cemetery. 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 Yeah, what's the word, man? I got it off Grailed. I think the retail was, what, $600. I got it for a lot cheaper than that. Just to be on the safe side, I went to the Chrome Heart store and got that checked out. And then the one in my middle finger is actually the snake from the Great Frog. In fact, most of these rings are going to be from the Great Frog. Pricing, it was under $150. I want to say. Then we've got my right hand, the one that is stacked up with rings. Now, pinky, we have the small Navajo ring from the Great Frog, and it's got a faceted garnet stone, which might be hard to see from where we are now, but hopefully in the close-up you'll be able to pick out. It's actually, although it looks black, it's actually this really deep red. It just looks cool, do you know what I mean? I love it. Absolutely love it. I'm not one of those dudes that's like super into crystals, but... It's good to know that you have that. Next up, we have a comedy and tragedy ring. This one is from the Great Frog as well. Middle finger, we have a ring from Goatee, G-O-T-I. I got it from the Essence sale. I don't know where you might be able to find this exact one, but I'm sure they still make new rings, so you can definitely check them out. And then last but certainly not the least, we have this banger right here, which is a lion head from Turkey with what appears to be a potential ruby or garnet inside its mouth. My boy H got it for me. And yeah, man, that completes this hand. Do these rings have any meaning to me? Uh, not particularly. I can make up some bullshit with regards to it, but to be completely honest with you, I like the way they look. I will be buying and trying new rings and all this kind of playing around. Who knows, maybe I might be making rings as well. And uh, yeah, man, so that is that super ask question forward slash a massive, massive moment for me. We have my own chain releasing tomorrow and we have my jewelry collection. If you just genuinely like the design, Plus, if you wish to support, then check out the link in the description box down below for this chain. 100 made. It will go live tomorrow at 8 p.m. I am super, super excited, man. Super excited. I hope, I hope you guys like it. And I hope once you do receive it, you will enjoy it. But that is that from me. If you wish to follow me on my social media, it's all right here. S-A-N-G-I-E-V. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Peace.